What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. Let's get right into it, giving you a recap of my Falcons defeating the Saints 26-24. Young Way Koo saves the day. Career-long 58-yard field goal, man. Heck of a game. Heck of a game, man. Look, shout-out to the Saints. As I said last week when I did our uh, Chiefs-Falcons re review, that the, I, 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 every time we play the Saints, just two times a year, you know, they put fear in my heart. For the last decade, they've had a good defense, and, you know, they showed out today as well. They showed out well-coached team with Dennis Allen being there for most of those years, if not all those years on defense, probably at least at least five, six, seven of those years, Dennis Allen was on that team as a D.C. But overall, man, um, great showing by both teams. I'm going to get into my Falcons first, then I'm going to touch on the Saints and how they played. Overall on offense, uh, I like what we did. Um, they also did what I wanted to last year, uh, last week and feed Tyler Algie a little bit more, and we did that. Eight carries, 60 yards, not so much. You know, not not too many running uh, running plays, only 15 uh, rushes. But when we did run with Algier, it definitely showed up, and, and he definitely showed out with his um, – with his performance, he had a couple catches, one for that big first down in, somewhere in, in the third quarter. It was very in, uh, very in, important there. So, overall, great showing by the offense. Um, Kyle Pitts, still a no-show. <laughs> you know, zero catches. Uh, that's tough, you know, with Kirk Cousins saying Kyle Pitts will be the guy and he'll be, you know, having touchdowns this year and all that stuff, alluding to that. In the offseason to now seeing the offense still come out and him still not paying, uh, still not playing, is giving me cause of pause, man. I was saying all year that this is, uh, I was saying all summer that this was the year for Kyle Pitts to explode and become a guy and be paying long term and everything is is going great for the next five years with Kyle Pitts. But the way it's looking right now, we might have to let him walk and just, you know, hope the best for him. But, uh, Drake London played well. Darnell Mooney played a heck of a game. Got that pass interference call on Paulson, Paulson, Paulson Adebo, excuse me, stutter there. Paulson Adebo, uh, who also, on the flip side, played a, a pretty good game as well on uh, defense. Um, Ray Ray McLeod, cool. Bijan was okay. You know, good receiving, good rushing. Um, had, a, had a touchdown brought back because of, what was it, a, a holding? Oh, yeah, hold by uh, Jake Matthews, but... Other than that, man, offense was pretty solid. You know, the Saints defense is tough. They played well. They held up. Uh, on to the Falcons defense, Troy Anderson, big-time linebacker play today. Out of that pick, the pick six he had, uh, he was he was a standout player. You know, everywhere, flying to the ball, shutting down Kamara on that left-hand side, he, well, on the offensive right-hand side, defensive left side. He shut down Kamara, uh, filling the gaps, uh, closing lanes. Uh, having edge containment on, on certain plays. He played well. Still concerned about our pass rush. A uh, couple sacks today, one by D. Alford. Uh, I think we had one more that might have been it. I'm not quite sure, but a couple sacks today, if not just, just one. Pressure was there a little tiny bit. I need more pressure, though. That's my thing. I need more pressure. Judon is cool. Um Having the timely DB blitz is cool, but I want just pure pressure from a four or five man rush. Still haven't quite got that yet, you know. Uh, but it's, it's it's okay, it's okay, you know. But we we're, we're gonna need the defense step a little a little bit more when the crunch time comes. The DBs played okay, you know. Uh, Bates was cool, Simmons was cool, played fairly well. Um, I was frustrated with the offer a little bit. Had some big plays, got burned a couple times. I know Shahid is fast. I know a lot of it is, is tough is a tough cover, but get a little closer. They have, they allowed too much space down when they were close to the red zone or, or where they were driving in certain moments. I wanted our DBs to be a little bit closer, but I understand you know playing uh, playing man man one high safety is, is tough. You know, like I said, Shahid is a tough cover, super tough cover. Olave's tough cover as well. But I would love to just play a little closer, challenge our DBs. Play to your full potential. And just try your best and see what happens. They scored anyway, so it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been mad regardless, you know, because uh, they, they played so off. You gave Shahid on Olave time to catch the ball and make something happen and stuff like that. So um, I'm not mad at that, but I would love us to play a little bit closer. Now, flipping over to the Saints, starting with their defense. Defense was tough money, you know, um, and I, I am relieved 
some of their guys were out. Tyron Matthew played a little bit of, of the first half and was for some, I, I still don't understand why he was out. I guess the injury happened. But but he was out for half the game. Demario Davis out for the full game. Um, uh, Willie Gay out for the game or out for most of the game with a hand injury, I believe. Taysom Hill scored two early touchdowns out with a stomach injury or, or a, a, a abdominal um, injury. So I didn't mind having the Saints missing some key players, but defense overall played played okay for the Saints. Uh, Peyton Turner had a sack and a, a forced fumble. Uh, Paulson Adebo had a pick. Had some pretty good coverage most of the time. Uh, got a, got exposed, not exposed, but he got you know caught slipping a couple times, which happens obviously. But uh, Paulson Debo played well. Marshawn Lattimore still super dangerous. I was saying in the off season, please trade him away. <laughs> please, please, Jags, Ravens, somebody step up and take him off our hands. He's still here and still is a nightmare cover for our DB. So you know, Kirk Cousins was smart and, and staying away from him for most of the game when he didn't. Marshawn Lattimore showed his butt, made a play. So I'm like, yeah, please continue to stay away from him. Um, but o- overall, though, um, Saints defense was cool. But a-, a couple of moments when they had the game, not wrapped up, but they could have definitely made it harder on us. They should have tackled Ty- uh, Tyler Algier when I mentioned earlier. A couple of first downs when they had him dead to rights. They just didn't want to bring that helmet. And it's tough. He's a big boy. He- he's a big thickum. That's why I want us to – Feature Algier a little bit more. I know Bijan's a monster. He's a high pick for him. He's a he's stud. I, I get it. But Al- Algier is a mismatch nightmare. He's a matchup nightmare. And guys in the league in any era are probably you know, a little a little hesitant in tackling him. So, you know, a couple of third downs, a couple of times when they had him, they definitely just, you know, he bounced off um, like a pinball, like a bowling ball, and kept on moving and gained some yards for us. That was key in this game here. Um, Chase Young had a pretty good standout game. You know, no, nothing numbers worthy, uh, really, to really stand out, but he played a good game. You watched the actual game. Look at Brian Brisset, played well also. Uh, continue pressure, can continue just movement, continue action for those two guys, really. Carl Grandison was okay. Um, you look at Rashid Shaheed receiving, scary. <laughs> as, as, as our DBs played against him, we were scared against, We were scared for a reason. You know, him and Olave both went over 80 yards, both eight catches, both for, for 80 yards, uh, both for over 80 yards, excuse me. That was a good showing by those two guys. Alvin Kamara, complete monster. Uh, he's showing us again this year why he's one of the best, if not the best. No, he's somewhere in that argument. You know, Saquon, CMC, when he's healthy, you know, um, Alvin Kamara shows why he's there too. And Derek Carr played fairly well. You know, he called us up a little bit, um, 20 for 36, one pick, which was, which was that Troy Anderson pick six that helped us about, helped us out a lot. Um, so, overall, pretty good game, man. Young Way Cool, uh, field goal save, save the day for us. You know, I was nervous, and I was looking at the, our, our three plays going down toward the end. You know, Kirk throwing uh, shots, one to Drake London, was a nice little ball. Uh, he was kind of double covered. Then you had Donnell Mooney was two shots to him. A Debo played well on the third one. The the, the one in in the, the middle, uh, thirty one. The safety. I don't know who thirty one is for the Saints, but the safety probably took Tyran Matthews' spot. He was he was old. He was old, he was old. Excuse me. He was over the top, but he did get beat. A Debo did get beat by Darnell Mooney. The throw was a little bit off by uh, Kirk Cousins, and he just a little bit off on some of these throws. You know, like he's he's on the money with some, but some of them is like I don't know what you're doing. You know, so. We got to run that in a, 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 a little bit. Overall, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing, man. Like I said before, I don't expect us to win every game. Not one of those fans. We got to win every game. I don't. I don't expect us to do that. But I do expect us to be to be a competitive team. Us to make some noise, and also for us to also, you know, just just be in the mix. I just want to be in the mix. I don't want to be a team that missed the playoffs. I want to be in the mix. Be able to say, hey, they are tough out. If we win, we win. We don't. We don't. But they they are a tough out. And we are definitely looking like we're that team. Uh, next three games, we have Tampa Bay uh, versus Tampa. So we're at Tampa. No, excuse me. We're at home, excuse me. Then we're going to be at Carolina Panthers. And then we're going to be versus uh, Seattle Seahawks. So next three games, well, I'll do four. And then we're going to be at Tampa. So Tampa, Carolina, Seattle, and Tampa. 
tough. <laughs> That's tough. We got a pretty tough schedule. Uh, Tampa twice. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can win both. But realistically, we're probably split. Hopefully, you know that's the best case scenario in my mind. They are a tough team. They are tough out. They did win today, um, so hopefully we can beat Tampa at least once. Hopefully twice. Um, and then you have Carolina Panthers. Then you have Seattle Seahawks. Panthers are playing well. They're not an easy out when which they were with Bryce Young. So you know we'll see what we have there w- with the Panthers. And then we have the Seattle Seahawks. We'll see. They are a pretty good team as well. Pretty good, pretty good balanced team. So uh, we'll see if we can beat Geno in a couple weeks. But on to the Saints, their next four games. Kansas City Chiefs next on Monday Night Football. Short week for them. We'll see what they can do there. They're at Kansas City. Uh, hopefully Tyron Matthew and those guys are healthy. Uh, defense for KC is, is pretty solid still. As we know, Pat Mahomes and those guys are no, are no joke. The Mario Davis, will he be back healthy? We'll see. Will he get me back healthy? To play against his former team in the Chiefs, we'll see. Then the Saints have the Bucks. Then the Broncos will beat the Jets today, and then they have the uh, I'm gonna say the Angels, the Los Angeles Chargers, uh, for their fourth game October 27th at LA. So uh, not too bad, you know. Uh, KC is KC in my opinion is beatable. Tampa, tough team, very tough team. They are beatable. Denver, uh, they are playing teams close. They're on the two game win streak as of right now. Uh, I believe they. I believe they beat the Jets. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure they beat the Jets. Yeah, they did. They did by one point, ten to nine. And then uh, Los Angeles. We'll see. You know, Herbert is is that's four or five weeks away. But uh, if Herbert is healthy and the team is healthy, we'll see what the Chargers bring for the Saints. But that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.